Washington State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Davis takes it at the 14. Can't wrap him up. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. What do you expect from this running back today, guys? I'm thinking he's going to have a pretty good game. After all, he isn't exactly going against the best front seven in the nation. Yeah, but this defense is fired up to get him. All they've heard all week is how good this kid is. I think they're tired of hearing it, but... But? But what? <laughs> but it won't matter, because they still won't be able to stop this kid. It's second and one. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. He throws it. The ball is tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. So that'll make it third down. Third and one. Third ball down and a yard. Yards. Ball on the 43. They'll work from the shotgun. Third and short, and they hand it off. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. First, and ten. first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. Cut. Newton, options left. Tackle at the 47. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. I didn't see what happened on the play, but you can only hope that this guy is able to shake it off and get back into the game. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Newton is back in the gun. Newton with the play fake. He's looking for his man. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Jackson takes it counter right, and the tailback picks up the first down. First, first and 10. ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Pearson makes the sack. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Newton lines up with the shotgun. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They come out with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. He goes downtown. Got it. He goes down at the 12. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Newton with three wide receivers. Newton will hand it off. He's taken down at the 10-yard line. Jackson comes away with two yards on the carry. Second down, eight yards to go. Auburn comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Got it to the senior. They'll bring him down at the nine. And the screen pass goes nowhere. Defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. Auburn comes to the line with three wide. He throws. Incomplete pass. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. So they'll have to line up for another third down play after they got the penalty marched off against them. Yep, just a bad time to be making a mistake like that. They line up at the 19. It's third and long. 
Auburn lines up in a shotgun set. He steps up across the middle. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. Fourth down. This will be about a 36-yard field goal attempt. This will make it a field goal game. They line up at the 45. It's first down. The Tigers line up with three wide. Jackson gets the call again. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Auburn lines up with three receivers. Jackson gets another carry. Two-yard pickup. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 43. Auburn comes out in the shotgun. Newton drops to throw. Got it. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. First one of the round. Walking the passer. 15 yard penalty. Will be enforced on the try. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Kansas State Wildcats. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Wildcats. The Buckeyes are heavily favored to win this game. Kirk, do you think they'll have any problems today at all? Ohio State is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game planned around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. Nice pick, Kirk. This one for you, Kirk. State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And it's a short kickoff. Banks takes it at the 12. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, most of the hype surrounding this game has revolved around this game-breaking tailback. Oh, boy, wait till you see this kid. This kid is a heck of a player, but he's going to go up against a great defense and an even better linebacking core. I think he'll run all over him, Kirk. Let's see how he does. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But, hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. They line up at the 30. Second down. Bishop comes to the line with three wide. Throws it to the outside. The defender had it and then dropped it. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So that'll ten. make it third down. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. They line up with trips to the right. Looks. He darts it over the middle. And it's incomplete. I know that pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason he's out there is to catch the football. The Wildcats line up the punt. Galloway will be the return man. Punts the ball away. 
Galloway fields it for 30. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll go to work at the 35-yard line. First and 10. The Buckeye line up in an I formation. Throws. That's incomplete. Galloway was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Pryor is back in the gun. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. They'll line up at the 35. Third down and 10 coming up. Griffin lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Pryor drops back to pass. It's tipped. He's first down. Bishop with three wide receivers. Moves up in the pocket. He airs it out. Someone got a hand on it. You gotta be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Second down. Ball on the 32-yard line. Kansas State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Bishop hands off to the left. Benson brings him down for a loss. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stuff him for a loss. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Bishop is back in the gun. Bishop set to go to the air. He passes it. Harrington brings him down at the 40. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. He gets it away. Galloway takes it at the 23. Well, guys, is this offense take... This drive will start at the 28. Going with the shotgun here. He's looking for his man. Ball's loose. Scooped up by the defense. And that fumble is going to cost him. At this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Oh, gets a carry right side. The safety made the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I recommend to the offensive coordinator a little play action and throw the fade route where the safety used to be. That's right, Lee. These guys are shooting up there when they see run and it only takes one time to catch them out of position and take it to the house. Bishop has trips to his left. Marshall with a recovery. What a crucial, crucial turnover there. That fumble could end up being the deciding factor in this game. I'd say it's already a deciding factor, Brad. I mean, the last time I checked, we were in the fourth quarter. We've got an exciting one on our hands now, guys. After that fumble, I'm going to go ahead and say this one's going down to the wire. Barrett drops back to pass. And it's intercepted. That turnover will probably do it for this team. Boy.
everybody, Brad Nessler, along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Purdue Boilermakers and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Tar Heels. The Tar Heels are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? North Carolina should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? Tar Heels are going to win this one. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Brown fields it at the 11. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Guys, all week the defense has been trying to figure out a way to stop this game-breaking receiver. What do you think about this matchup? Brad, simply put, you can't stop this guy. This defense is going to just have to use a variety of formations as well as double teams to try to slow him down. Otherwise, they're going to be in for a long day. Hey, if they think they can stop him, they're crazy. This kid is way too talented to be shut down. Watch him have a tremendous game. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. It's tipped. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. So that'll make it third down. Third they line up nine. at the 29. The Here's 29 third and nine. Here. The Tar Heel line up with a single set backfield. Looks. He's looking down the middle. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. It. So they're set to punt this one away. Hall is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Russell fields it to 29. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. They'll go to work at the 31. First and 10. Everett is back in the gun, back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second, Second down. Yeah. They'll work from the shotgun. Everett drops back. Hit as he throws. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. Third it's third down and 10. Ball on the 31. The Boilermaker come out in a bunch formation. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. This defensive end caused all kinds of problems. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. The Tar Heel go with the eye formation. Curry hands it off. Brought down at the 30. Pendleton picks it. From the 30 yard line. It's second down and about three yards. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Didn't get anything. No game on the play. We get third and three here. Ball on the 30. North Carolina lines up in a goal line set. Curry still has it. He throws it in and out of his.